In this case, I started with the thought of the horizontal work. Because mm -hmm. uh, in my last show uh, in Italy, I had a conversation with uh, Giorgio Vazzotti, this art historian, and we talked about this. So I thought it's a very interesting uh, thought to work with this, because I already did lots of horizontal sculptures, but I wasn't so aware that it is a subject by itself. So I started, I'm, I'm not sure, I think I started with the plaster work, Okay. On the, the wall. One on the wall. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I still had another kind of image of photography in my head. But then uh, I thought at this photography, which is more than 12 years old, it has this concept of the vertical trees and this surface of water behind. And it also carries this kind of stillness in itself, what I liked. I think the reflection or What the reflection brings also is a kind of upside down, which is very interesting for me to consider it in sculpture, because in sculpture you have, you are so much underlying the, the fact of gravity. And if you, to turn something vice versa, you can also inverse this, uh, this gravity. Sometimes my sculptures, not in this exhibition, but sometimes my sculptures are heavy, like in concrete or things like that. And but I'm always looking for changing this kind of weight into something which is more light. And also in the reflection, I think there's the aspect of light, which is very important for sculpture. It's On the one hand, this kind of upside down, but it's also light who is still forming a sculpture. And sometimes I choose material like aluminium, or in this case, this galvanized steel, because I like the way when a matte surface, a metal matte silver surface, is catching the light. It's not, uh -huh. it's not only about reflection, it's also the, the kind of reflection. I always like this kind, also this kind of thought um, about movement in sculpture, what, which doesn't mean the sculpture should be in movement, but it's the spectator who is in movement. It could be a movement by his eyes, but it could, could also be a physical movement, no? kind okay. of replacing. Replacing and changing points of view, that's part of it, of course. I think like... For anyone, the exhibition is different. That's the beautiful thing about it, if you leave it open, that there are many possible views, many possible shows. Yes, yes. I, I would also like to, to leave it open like that, no? because even if I don't have an explanation for every sculpture, every decision, of course I can find reasons or starting points or then related thoughts to it but as you talked about the image the photography it can always change no? and I often use the photography also to expand the context of the show but what I always want to try to to avoid is to give a didactical thought to it to explain it too much it's more to open more your mind that's my aim not to give an explanation but Sometimes you are giving explanations by certain sculptures or pieces, photographies. Sometimes one sculpture is explaining the other better also. 